All right, so now let's take a look at the XMLs we received in editorial. We have the alt version, which will contain every panel from the sequence, and then the new version, which will only contain panels that were added or edited since the last editorial publish. Since this is our first publish, every panel is new to editorial, so both files will be identical this time. I'll drop the all XML into Premiere, and let's see how things come in. So you can see the clips have all the right names with the expected naming conventions. The sequence is created also with the expected naming conventions. Clips with camera moves have keyframes on them in the timeline to recreate the camera move. But let's look at the source clip in the source monitor. You can see the editor will have the full canvas from story. So they're not restricted to the framing done by the story artist. And they can update the keyframes to clean up the camera move. The timing of the clips, initially set in Storyboard Pro and reflected in Flix, is also sent to Premiere. And finally, we have the timeline markers representing the beginning of each shot, which again have been passed through from Storyboard Pro to Flix and then Premiere. Flix has taken care of the naming convention and the folder pipeline for publishing in a clean and consistent way. We have control and enforce this at a studio level to ensure there is consistency throughout the production. So far, we've passed information from Storyboard Pro to Flix and through to Premiere, and we'll continue our production round tripping. So with that, Editorial can now make some adjustments to the edit. So time has passed. Uh, let me walk you through the changes our editor has made to the edit. First, obviously, some audio has been added for background noise, sound effects, and dialogue. The first camera move on this clip has been smoothed out, so it now focuses on the letters in our character's hands. A couple of boards have been removed, as a director thought it would make for better pacing as she walks into the school. It looks like Story will have to adjust her character position because she doesn't line up exactly anymore. We've added a couple of extra panels here to have more focus on her facial expressions. So to do this, our editor has used existing boards from later on in the edit. This is good for now to show the intent, but it's likely that Story will have to revision this to fit the shot better. These are all the changes for now, and since uh, there's been a few adjustments, it's beneficial to send this back to Story. So to do this, we'll have to export the sequence out of Premiere. First, we'll export an XML. Once that's done, we'll also export the video, which Flix will use to extract audio, as well as any clip not originating from Flix, which might have been added in editorial as reference. We'll make sure to export the QuickTime in the same location as the XML previously to make it easier to re-ingest in Flix. 